Welcome back everyone, my name is Daryl and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up the Google Scikit plugin for WordPress for your WordPress website. Now wouldn't it be nice if you can have all the analytics, your AdSense, your Tag Manager all from one location instead of going and checking them up on various uh, Google websites. This new plugin by Google just came out and it'll allow you to look at everything from your analytics all from your WordPress dashboard. And it's a free plugin, doesn't cost you anything. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can set it up and get started with this plugin. Now keep in mind uh, this plugin is in beta so you might come across errors, you might come across some problems with it but if you do you can submit them but I've used it enough and it's, it's actually pretty stable. Uh, so again, you know, this is my analytics right here and instead of actually uh, going to analytics and checking all the time, you can check it right from your WordPress dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and download the plugin. Now, there is a link below to download this plugin. It's a free plugin. It doesn't cost you anything at all. Now, one thing I want to know here uh, to Google, or maybe this is to uh, uh, my, my browser company, why is this like this on Chrome and then on, on uh, Firefox, it's unoptimized. Is Google actually not optimizing their site correctly? Who are, you know, and they're the ones always telling us, you know, to, to, to have everything uh, optimized and it looks like they're not optimized. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Uh, so over here, you, uh, you, you get a notice and, you know, they talked about, uh, they were at WordPress camp, etc. Now, right here, it says site is available. You want to click on download right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. All right. Did it download? I think it downloaded, right? Did it download? Yeah. Okay. I think it downloaded. All right. Okay. So I downloaded it. Now go to your WordPress website right here and go to plugins and go to add new. And you're going to go ahead and upload that current plugin. So right here, click on upload plugin. I'll click on browse and I will download my file. Okay. So I uploaded the plugin right here. So Google site kit, I'm click on install now. All right. It's installing. Cool. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and activate the plugin right here. So I'll click on activate the plugin. And for those of you who don't really want it yet, but you're kind of looking around, just keep watching because I'm just going to kind of give you the inside of it and show you how all this works right here. Oh, a new update for Brizzy. I'm interested to see what that's all about. Okay. So right here, you have now the site kit right here and you click on dashboard. So as of right now, nothing's really verified. We have, uh, we haven't really done anything at all. So we need to create the client ID. We'll authenticate it. We'll verify the URL and then we'll connect search console and then we'll go ahead and finish it up. So right here, I'll click on developers.google uh, and this will basically start creating the, it'll basically create the process of, uh, uh, you know, getting, um, authorizing your site and getting your credentials, etc. So right here, I'll click on get auth credentials. Now you must have a Gmail account already. So if you were prompted to go to another screen, such as a sign up screen, you gotta sign up for Google. You gotta, you gotta get a Gmail account. I mean, what are we in 2019? You don't have a Gmail account yet? Like I don't use Yahoo anymore cause I just get spam. I get just a bunch of crap, like people trying to sell me sex pills and, and scammers. I mean, it's infested with the scammers. I would highly recommend don't use Yahoo. It's the worst. Uh, so right here, we'll click on copy. It'll take all this code right here. And before you click on done, go back to your site right here and make sure this is verified. All right, so I put that in and I'll click on a proceed. Now this might take some time, guys. So this isn't the fastest plugin. It, it, the, the, the API request can be a little slow, but it's, it's still, pretty, still pretty solid. Uh, right here, I'm gonna check that. Now authenticate with Google. So it wants me to sign in with Google. So I'll go to sign in with Google. I'll select my account and, you know, always allow everything, you know, everyone trusts Google, right? Just, just give them access to everything, you know, just, just give them access. Just, just, just click yes. You know, so right here, allow. All right. So now we need to verify the URL. All right. So is that the correct URL? If it's not, make sure that to put in your web address and click on continue. All right. We're working. It's going. Going. I should edit the video out to like cut these scenes, make it look like it's faster than it is. But no, I want to be real here. I want to be real. All right. It, congratulations. It was set up and connected with Search Console. Awesome. Congratulations. Cool. So right here, I'll click on Go to Dashboard. All right. Cool. So Search Console is connected. Now, keep in mind, this does take some time. So um, if it does not work right away, just give it some time and it'll, it'll work. So now we have other options right here. So I want to click on Settings right here really quickly and click on connect more services. So we also have AdSense, we also have analytics, we also have PageSpeed Insights, which is actually really cool because that's gonna give you more information about your website to tell you what you can improve upon on your website. 
And I would take their opinion on it because they are Google. So you're kind of a slave to their search engine. So you want to make sure that you do what they say to get your site ranked up, right? So I think the, the one of the more important ones is analytics. Now, AdSense, I don't know how I feel about that because I don't, I don't like those websites where they place ads wherever they want. I want to be able to take the code and place it wherever I want because that's just what I want. And, you know, but I don't know. I, I'm not going to mess around with AdSense too much, but... If you don't have an AdSense account, it's free. That's how you make money, basically, with advertisements. But I don't know where they place it at, so I am interested to see how that works out. So analytics right here, I'll click on set up analytics. We'll click on proceed. Now, all these are very all the same way. They're all the same way. So it takes around like a minute to set all this up. So right here, click on Daryl Wilson. Now, right here, it's going to tell you this. So if you get to the screen right here, click on the advanced and click on go to your website unsafe. And I think Google actually tells you that you will run into that problem. So that's probably why it's in beta right now. So if you're watching this from a month right now or three months right now, maybe they'll fix that up. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and give them access to everything. You can go ahead and, and you know, decide not to, but, you know, what the hell? And I'm just going to, you know, do it. This is a test account anyway. So, all right, I'll click on allow. Okay, so I probably need to create an account. So if you don't have an account right here, you, you'll either need to refetch my account, and sometimes it does have a delay. And remember, this this is still in beta right now. So if it doesn't work, then you know, unfortunately, it won't work. But right here, I'll click on refresh. See how this works. Refresh my account. Looks like it doesn't work right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on cancel and see what we can do here. Remember, this is in beta. So right here. Refresh the accounts. It could also be my browser right here because I, I do have an account. But let's go to create an account and see if we can log in right there. Okay, cool. So right here, I'll put this uh, my account name. So I'll do Brizzy Add-ons, and then I'll do um, you know Brizzy. Here I'll put in my website. So www.brizzyaddons.com. We'll select an industry. I am in the software industry, and then whatever industry you're on, you're gonna to go to put it on there. So I'll, I'll just put uh, internet. Um, do you want to give them information about stuff? Sure, why not? We always trust Google. They're not biased in any way. I mean, they had, they, they're they're not biased in any way, right? I mean, come on, let's be honest. After the election, you know, they, they were totally transparent, right? <laughs> so right here, we'll click on I accept. All right, success. All right, cool. Now I believe I'll take this tag right here. I think I think actually right now we can actually um, I think we can actually skip this right now. I think it's actually set up. So right here, if you click on the refresh my account, it doesn't work. Just give it time, you know. But my account is created right here. In fact, I will actually go to my other browser right here. Maybe it could be my browser. I'm gonna go ahead and check this out really quickly. Analytics. Continue the setup. See if we can make this work here. Okay, cool. It looks like it was probably the browser right there. So I'm not really sure why that uh, why that happens, but I'm pretty sure that it was the browser. It looks like the analytics is connected now, so it was an error with the browser. So that's something to note. Google, if you're watching this, you know it looks like the other the other um, uh, browser had some issues right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep going with this one. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep trying. So now that I've actually, oh, see now it's connected. So now that I've connected that service, you know, you're more than welcome to start connecting the other services such as PageSpeed Insights, Optimize. Now these are a little bit more for people who have experience with a lot of the analytics with WordPress, I'm sorry, with Google, such as A-B testing with, you know, Optimize, Tag Manager as well, uh, PageSpeed Insights, I recommend to set that up. I, I'm in, I'm very interested in the AdSense, you know, I'm, I use AdSense. Um, but I like to place it where I want to place it. But again, we'll have to see how that works. Maybe Google will start telling people this is the new way on how to do it. Maybe they'll actually create a widget for it. In fact, let's go ahead and check that out really quickly if they actually have any Google widgets, which would be interested. Oh, interesting. And I don't think they do, but in the future, if they do, I'm very interested to see that. So, all right, guys. So I basically showed you how to set this all up. You have any questions for me about this? Uh, let me know. Now, once you actually have this installed, you will actually get a little notice right here that will basically say, um, you know, do you, it'll, it'll give you, you basically hover over it and it'll actually drop down with your analytics right here. But it does take time to fetch this information. The, the API is actually, I want to say a little slow here. 
So right here, it's saying that we're gathering data and everything. And if you have any problems right here, it'll let you know right here. So be sure to check this out. Again, uh, if you have any questions or anything, you want to ask me about the, the, the plugin or anything, uh, let me know. Remember, it is in, in beta right now. So if you do come in problems like I just came into right now, <laughs> that is why it's in beta. So again, make sure to like this video. Be happy. Have a good day. You know, uh, get a drink, get Starbucks, whatever it is you do to make you happy. I'll see you guys all in the next video.